Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, today I want to talk about reverb. Uh, now there's this conception about um, reverb kind of muddying up your mix and I think I found a solution for that that you guys might enjoy. And uh, without further ado, I would like to show you that. All right, so here I have a very dry vocal or at least a fairly dry vocal. And I would say that um, it could use some reverb. So let's listen to it. There's a little bit of reverb, but I would like to have some more on it. And really, I would like to simulate a very big hallway um, for this kind of vocal here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just open up uh, one of my favorite reverbs, which is M Turbo Verb. And we're going to go into the large spaces here and we're going to take something like, uh, let's see, character hole bright. Let's take one of these and we're going to set decent settings here. So let's set uh, like 35% uh, dry wet and we'll listen to what that sounds like. So I really like the kind of effect that it gives. Um, let's actually take one of these vocal chops. So we can really listen to the tail here. It really gives a nice tail and it's really uh, a nice big ambience. Uh, but what you hear is that it's immediately mudding up not only um, the main sound, but just going to muddy up your whole mix because obviously that kind of noisy tail in there is going to muddy it up a lot. Now with the bright one, it's not that bad because um, it's it's obviously very bright and uh, the muddy frequencies aren't that loud. But let's say you take something like the dark version here. That's already going to muddy up your mix a lot more. And um, if this was an octave lower, for example, then lower frequencies would be introduced by the reverb. And then it would be really, um, yeah, kind of um, really muddying up your mix. Then so something like that can really muddy up your mix. So my solution for that is to do like a two-step approach to your reverbs. And instead of using um, two reverbs here or one very big reverb, what you can do is use a dimension expander, which is a free plugin by X for Records, um, which are the people who also made Serum. And there's some other ones out there as well, but this is the one that is easiest to use. And if you set size to zero and you just set a dry wet that you like, uh, what you can then do is kind of compensate for that with both the dry wet but also the length of your reverb here. So that's what we're doing here. We're just going to tame the settings on our reverb a little bit. And because we have the dimension expander, what is going to happen is it's still going to give us that reverb effect and that reverb sound. Um, then. So you can hear it's a lot more clearer and it's a lot um, cleaner of a sound, but it still has a reverb to it. So you can maybe just turn up the dry wet a little bit. Then, then. You can still hear um, the sound and you can still hear the, the kind of big ambience, but it's a lot clearer and a lot nicer to listen to. And the reason why this works is because the way the dimension expander works is it basically is a reverb, um, but with an envelope follower. So what it will do is it once it's kind of turns off here, it will um, just completely turn off that reverb. And um, right here where there's not a lot of volume, you won't have a lot of volume coming from the reverb. And um, you can actually simulate that by going to completely wet and you can hear exactly what it's doing. Then, then. You can hear it's, it's basically still the same sound and that's because the reverb is so short and so, um, um, so much following the character of your original sound that it's actually fairly close to the original sound even at fully wet. Um, but with just a little bit of it in there, it kind of mixes in nicely and it's an easier uh, alternative to just a, a louder reverb. And um, the reverb kind of what we have now is still there to give you the tail and to give you the kind of ambience that you want, but it's not there to just give you the reverb sound. So you have a different plugin for that. And that way um, you can dial it in in a different way uh, as well as just um, needing less reverb on, on the sound itself. Um, so that's just a kind of a quick tip that I wanted to share with you uh, about reverbs and something you can use to, to clean up your mix a little bit. Uh, I hope you enjoy this tip and I hope you can uh, put it to good use. Uh, let me know if you kind of like these sort of videos with these tips. Uh, and if you like the, the, the kind of idea of me just 
uh, showing off some very, very small ideas like this. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, leave a like. And if you're new, subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.